Hey guys, so I just wanted to explain a little bit. The video that you're about to watch was filmed a couple weeks ago. I normally film my videos a little bit early and um, I did not upload it because just out of respect for everything that's going on right now, um, it was filmed before George Floyd was killed. It was filmed before the protests and before we had much more important things going on. So I didn't feel right uploading it. Um, the reason that I decided to upload it now is because I feel like it's a good escape for people. I know that I've been watching YouTube videos in my spare time to kind of escape from everything that's going on right now. You have to be able to take a break and decompress a little bit and relax a little bit. So since I know that it's like a form of therapy to me, then I feel like maybe it'll be the same for other people. But there's no way that I would upload this video with talk without talking about this very important issue first. I'm thankful that people are really starting to pay attention and it's so important that we don't let up and that we don't stop talking about it because if we stop talking about it, it gets lost once again. And it's not just for George Floyd, it's for everyone. It's for each and every one of those names that we see every time we see a Black Lives Matter post. There's so many to even count that this has happened to and there's so many that we don't even know about that weren't recorded. And if we stop talking about it, then things are never gonna stop happening like that. So I think it's very important to include this in this video and i am uploading the same video i'm not making a new one just because i haven't been in the mood to film i haven't been in the mood to do much lately at all like it's just i i don't think that i'd be able to make a very good video at this point to be honest and i'm going to use the footage that i have from a couple weeks ago because i was in a much happier place in my mind and i feel like that's going to be much more enjoyable content so please make sure to continue to have your voices heard please don't stay silent on this please speak out please continue to share resources please continue to share links to donate to please continue to make donations please continue to do all of it i don't want this to just kind of fade out and fizzle out and then no one's talking about it anymore that's not the point so just please continue to say the names of the people who need to be remembered. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a bit of a what's in my bag slash a life update. You know, answer a couple questions that I've been getting kind of often. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm in kind of like a chit chat sort of mood. So I have on like some little like a jammy type vibe here. You guys can't see the pants, but I just have on like a little, little jammy type vibe, like a chit chat and chill type of video. I feel like this is gonna be. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna show you guys what bag I'm carrying at the moment. Um, it's my Birkin 35. I love this bag. I've had it for maybe like maybe like three months now. I haven't had it very long. One of the things that I mentioned in my handbag wish list though, is that I do want to look for a Birkin 30 also, but it's not because I feel like this is just like crazy huge, like I don't get enough use out of this because I really do feel like I get a lot of use out of it. And even more so now that things are opening back up. I just also feel like it'd be nice to have like a smaller size that I could wear to things that are a little bit less casual. Um, Cause I feel like this is a super casual bag, especially cause I have Clemence leather and it's just real mushy. I have a bag organizer in here right now, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I feel like having something a little bit more, um, even more structured and also a little bit more like dinner time vibes, maybe in a 30, but for right now, I love my 35. I think that it is an amazing size. I feel like a lot of people, um, will like try to scare you off of the 35. I still really like it. Also, let's talk about the fact that the 35 is on the pre-love market. Let's talk about the fact that the 35 is cheaper than the other options. So don't let people scare you off of getting the 35 if you already like big bags, because you can also save money by getting the 35. That's part of why I did it. But I am also a larger bag person. I like larger bags. And I knew it wasn't gonna be a problem for me because I don't really care about the weight of the bag or anything like that. I'm gonna carry it if I really like it. So if it's gonna be a problem for you, totally understand paying more to get a, um, a smaller Birkin, um, if you're looking on the pre-love market, of course. But if you like big bags, Go for that 35, save a couple thousand. Like, go for the 35, girl. Anyway, let's get into what is actually in my bag. I am going to kind of chit chat toward the end of the video. I'll show you guys what's in the bag first, and then we can talk after. That way, if you only want to see the bag part, you can. It's cool. I won't be offended. If you don't want to sit and talk with me, I won't be offended. It's okay. I promise. I promise. But let's get into the bag. So, in here, I have my bag organizer. 
Um, I actually ordered one from Samorca because I really want to try theirs, but this one is not from them. This one is from a seller on Etsy who I will link below. Um, I think that this is perfectly fine. Oh, it says it on the side. So it says Original Club, um, originalclub.co. So yeah, that's where this is from then. <laughs> um, I got it on Etsy and I feel like it's been working out pretty well. I don't see any problems with it. Um, I know that there are some YouTubers especially that talk about like really a lot more expensive bag organizers. Um, I'm sure you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but I just, I couldn't spend that much on a bag organizer. Like I understand this is an expensive bag, totally get it. If someone knows like a specific reason why you're only supposed to use ones like that, then let me know in the comments, but I don't, I don't understand cause like it's just felt and I thought that it was okay. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this has been working fine for me. I'm going to show you guys what's in it. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep her over here. Cause I, I watch bag videos. I watch watching my bag videos for the bag. I want to be able to see the bag at all times. So I'm going to put it right there. Anyway, inside I have my sunglasses. They are Christian Dior sunglasses. These are what I'm carrying right now. I love them and they were also in my summer haul video that I did. I also have this little guy in there. I love, love, love this. This is the cosmetic pouch from Louis Vuitton that I purchased maybe a month ago or so. I did a video on it when I first got it and I was saying that I'm not really a small leather goods type of person. I don't own a lot of small leather goods, but this little guy right here I thought would be really helpful, especially because I feel like every time I go on the website, a small leather good that I normally see all the time is sold out constantly. So I figured like for small leather goods, if there's something that I want, I might as well get it now. And I got this little guy. So this is where I keep all my essentials that I would take in basically every bag that's big enough to fit this. So I keep in here, I haven't actually used this yet, so I'm not going to say it's an essential. I just got it. Uh, but it's this, what is it? It's this Dior. <laughs> I forgot what it was. It's this Dior like lip gloss stuff lip glow color reviver balm i don't even know how to twist this i literally just put this in my bag here we go mm, smells like kind of minty i like that okay but yeah i figured if i put it in here then i would start using it i have a little baby deodorant that i got from target i love carrying these around i have like a little kit like not with a louis vuitton one but i have like a little zip up kit from one of my old ipsy bags that i keep in my car also that has like deodorant in it and it has like a little toothbrush like all the things because i am very afraid of leaving the house without deodorant on that hasn't happened to me since like high school or so but like i'm still scared and i still keep it on me all the time i live in arizona it's like 111 degrees today if i were to go somewhere and forget to put on deodorant it would be tragic so you know just better safe than sorry we keep this in the bag at all times i have this little um hand lotion which it's okay like i don't love it it's okay it's from i don't know how to say that brand y'all know y'all seen this store before y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about is this this brand right there you see it yeah is that i don't know how to say it um but this was kind of expensive and it smells a little old ladyish. sorry if you guys really like this scent but it just smells a little old ladyish to me and it's okay though it's fine lotion i use it it's hand lotion it's okay i have my little um little tiny baby hand sanitizer from bath and body works and i say little tiny because it's almost out oh poor little guy definitely crucial though right now um, I have cords, which I'll show you what these are for in just a minute, but I keep these in here so that I don't forget to bring them anywhere. And then I also keep lash glue. This is like a almost done bottle of lash glue. I usually keep one that's like older in my bag because a lot of times I do wear strip lashes. I haven't worn them this whole pandemic, but when I do get back to wearing them, I already have this in my bag. And that's in case one of them like, you know, decides to slide off while I'm at work. You know, incidents that happen when you wear false lashes, you don't want to be caught out there looking crazy. So we keep that in there. And then usually I keep some of these in there, some little like lifesaver mints. I only have one in here right now, so I have to fill back up. But yeah, that's what's in my little pouch. So I love this pouch. I think it's amazing. I do not regret buying it at all. And I highly recommend it because all I do is like flip my stuff from one bag to another, just take this out and pop it in a new bag, which is really, really convenient. So next up I have this. I love this. This is from Lumi. It is super extra. If any of y'all want to be real extra, just carry this around with you, then yeah, <laughs> because it's another light. So, you know, if I'm trying to get like, if we're trying to get like the, the angles and like a good, good photo and the lighting is low and we're out, you know, you got to, you have to. 
but it's also a charger. So that's part of why I carry these cords with me. I have um, my like actual iPhone cord in here. I have the charger that charges this, which is one of the ones that you guys saw earlier. Um, it's this one, it charges this, and it also charges the Lumi case. So if my case dies, I can plug it into here, or if my phone dies, I can plug my phone into here. So this is really convenient and I love it. I have two of these. But also, if this is dead and my phone is dead, I have this and usually I will use this before I use the actual Lumi one. The Lumi one is like more when I have small bags, I can just pop this into a small bag. But this is my pocket juice. I have carried a pocket juice with me for like the last like three years consistently because I love it. I don't charge my phone at night. This is why I'm so obsessive with chargers. I don't want to be out and have my phone die, but I never charge my phone at night. I'd like to say that I'm a responsible adult who can remember to put their phone on the charger, but I don't. I never do. I almost never do and yeah so that's why i'm always obsessive about having this plus it's great for other people to use too because this has like two ports so if you need to charge your phone and your friend needs a charge and you have two um, iphone cords then you're good to go so i love this this holds a charge for so long too it takes forever to charge up but it does hold a charge for really long I, this is like my fifth pocket juice that i've had over like last, the last three years i love them people always know that i have them on me so they're like oh can i charge my phone of course you can always <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, next up, I have a pair of glasses. I feel like it's gonna bother some of you guys that like they're not in the case or anything. I bought these from Vermu and they were like maybe like 15 bucks. I definitely keep my everyday glasses up a lot better, but I keep these in here just in case I like hop in the car and forget to bring glasses, then I can wear these. This is the charger to charge this <laughs> so I can charge everything else. I got a lot going on here, you know? And then this is one of my faves too. This is my Chanel um, lip balm. I just love the casing to this like there's no reason to pay this much for lip balm it's kind of a crazy like just dumb purchase but I love them I love it and it's really creamy like it, it feels really good but like I think this was like $38 like this is just like an unnecessary purchase you can just buy chapstick it's it's unnecessary and then in this little side pocket I have my little airpods they're usually dead too but I can charge them on here so we're good birth control no babies right now guys not for me and that's all that i have in the bag organizer i do have in here though a couple things too so right here i keep next to my bag organizer i keep my uh little mask so i can always just like reach down in the side and grab it if i'm going somewhere so i have that in there and then also on this side i have my little coin purse i bought this on amazon there's no coins in this because i haven't been using cash lately there's literally nothing in here um, but it just pops open like this i love it it was two for six dollars and i thought that, that was a much better deal than buying like a like a expensive coin purse i know that they have some really cute ones out there like you could get like a chanel coin purse or like a louis vuitton coin purse but like you know i'm not a small other goods person really like that um oh where's my wallet i must have taken my wallet out of here because my wallet's not even in here I gotta show you guys that because I always have that with me. Okay, I got my wallet. So this is the only other really small other good that I use. It matches this, it's cute. I have the Dami Azor in this as well that I just bought because this one's getting a little old and getting a little raggedy and like the button is just done for. Um, which somebody told me that you can probably take this in and they'll repair it for you for the free. I heard that was a thing, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna be like, hey, this looks really sad can you please help me so maybe who knows i would even be willing to pay like a little bit to get this fixed because i really do love these and like i have such a big fear of them discontinuing the six key holder because it's the only thing that i will use as a wallet if they discontinue this i'm gonna be real sad okay so that is what is in my birkin 35 i love how floppy this bag is with nothing in it by the way like i love how like it's kind of like slouchy honestly i could totally use this bag without a bag organizer and i think that i would be okay with that i would not mind at all so yeah that is what is in my birkin now i'm going to talk to you guys for a little bit yeah i want to give you guys a little update so i want to first of all talk about the direction of my channel because as you can see i've been talking more about luxury bags shoes things like that and that's not something that i've always talked about on this channel it is something that I have talked about before though. Um, but when I first started my channel, I talked about things like this and my very first video was actually a what's in my bag of my Speedy 30 Bandolier. And that is the direction that my channel started in. And then when I moved to LA for three years, I didn't really buy any of that stuff anymore. Like I was mostly doing videos about moving to LA or about finding apartments in LA, living in LA type of videos because 
that's what people wanted to see. So I was making them and I really wasn't buying that many luxury goods when I was there because rent was real expensive. So, you know, what money? Like, so I moved to Arizona and I moved here about six months ago and I absolutely love it here. So that's another thing to note. Uh, the rent's quite a bit cheaper and I love that. <laughs> um, so when I got here, I decided to take like three months off of working. I decided to just like not work for three months. I um, tried to kind of figure out like what my next direction was, take a little bit of time because I feel like as a young adult, you don't really get a chance very often at all to just take some time off. And now, of course, because of the pandemic, a lot of people are forced to, which is a whole different story. But I chose to do that back in December just because I felt like I needed a break. I felt like I was overwhelmed. I felt like I wasn't doing what I wanted to be doing. I felt like I had no clue what I wanted to be doing in the first place. So. I took some time off. I did start at a new job back in February and I like my new job, it's good. And I mean, most of the time I've been working from home, so there's that. So I haven't been able to make as many friends as I wanted to like from work. So that's one thing, that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Things will get back to a new normal one day as they say. So yeah, I've been working, I have been making new friends around here. Um, outside of work so that's been really good too i love being in this area i feel super happy here and i have been really enjoying making videos like my very very old content so i'm happy to get back to that i i love talking about luxury designer goods i love talking about handbags i love talking about fashion i love talking about any of that so i'm super happy that my channel has kind of taken that direction since i got here um, which is really cool and I think that it's gonna stay that way for quite a long time So I really hope that you guys enjoy this type of content because I'm gonna keep making it But yeah, that's all that I have for this video I just wanted to make a really quick extra video for this week because I felt like talking so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one Also follow me on Instagram if you want to I will put my Instagram right here It is swan x done and I will see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.